Up, um, <clears throat> Dean. Um, I'm hoping you took some notes down. Okay. Minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, so if I go what you found out, just give it in a nutshell if you can. You might um, okay. So, Gana. Uh, Ganava or Zana is the name of planet or capital or something important. Mm -hmm. I think there's an individual, Antrogena, doesn't look, he looks like an auto, seems to hold status, or consider, be considered as a high priest. Mm -hmm. Usually he's surrounded by others or on a dais. Um, Bolin Venor, this race tends to favor artistic endeavors. Their tech isn't based under an ethos. Tech seems to be based under coexistence. Um, use stuff differently, maybe value that may be apparent. Names I've picked up is. Duvalik, Duvalik, um, Kabukval, and Chan Fan Bulk, etc. Oh, yeah. Attached to the main is yeah. the All knowledge is aesthetically pleasing. Tech level 8 planet, developing integrate, which is a 9. Population is about 8. Uh, population is an 8, with just over 300, with approximately 305,000 beings. Um, the Aldo is a leader to the planet. He's a title, no reference to a government type. Over the last hundred years, their terms or sightings of items in space that don't follow or understand the of celestial bodies could be life outside the system. Um, so the, I'm rushing this down, but yep. um, when we were called onto the planet, the high priest said, in the name of um, Ganavar, um, you are welcome aboard this planet. And because of that, the idea that I came up with was what if that is their deity that they believe in, um, and the high priest speaks to this deity or prays to this deity for his people? Mm -hmm. I think that was what we did. We did like lots of like tech things and mm -hmm. how to get on ball, like what what are we gonna do, what are we gonna give? And then I think we got to the end where I was sitting in the um ship yeah. and yeah, two people went on and I'm talk, telling them how to um, do things like the body language to portray. They're also told not to smile or show teeth because mm -hmm. it may be seen as um, a threat. Yeah. Um, they do since he seem to have a sense of humor. There seems to be two sorts of different types of communications. One public, obviously one formal. Um, one is more relaxed. Yeah. Um, and there's two clips. There are no obvious signs of gender, though there are different colors and different modulation with speech, and they seem to get different colors again. Yep. Cool. Matt, did you want to add anything as Remington to that recap? That was, uh, his notes are a lot more expansive than mine are. Uh, we're just, <laughs> we're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah. So, um, did you guys finally decide, I mean, I know you're going to do your, your you're just about to do first first uh, contact did you decide on taking anything over as a gift or was that just to be left for now and just open the relationships weren't we talking about bringing a drone uh, yeah, one of them, yeah. Two. yeah yeah so uh, we suggested two to ah uh, yeah so we suggested two drones um and i advise that we play music this is about music um Oh no, yeah, as we were talking to them, I was playing music that was not the same as theirs, but along the same sort of wavelengths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so you okay. and um, Gar um, have gone on for first contact. As I said before, you guys have managed to get into the airlock. It's cycled through. Their doors open. Their doors are a um, iris valve closing, not a door door, you know, so it winds down to a small point and closes. The door opens, there's a whole lot of these individuals, and they all stand 
around about nine foot tall compared to you. So there is a, a significant height difference. They are tall and thin, but not stick skinny. They would be about one and a half times as wide as you. So they, their sort of proportions are correct for their size. They are bipedal. They have two limbs which end, which seem to end in five digits. It would appear that they have evolved similar to humans because they do have an opposable thumb, at least one. Um, they are wearing gar, would recognise as a very early form of um, undergarment that you'd wear in a um, back suit. Diaper. Um, yeah, and they just had that, that look on their faces as they wait for you to approach. Although one of them um, has their hand out, um, and their hand is stretched open, and it's not held like waiting for something to be put into it. It's actually palm down, but raised. Okay, um... Our, our our translation has kind of gotten to the point where we can communicate simple words, right? Mm -hmm. As I wait for um, our our um, language expert or body language expert back in the ship to kind of figure out what to do about the palm palm down, you know, raised mm -hmm. up kind of thing, I sort of I just say, "Greetings. We come from beyond the veil." Um, they they speak in like you know, there's that half a minute of difference while the computer translates and then spits it out over your Omnicomp speaker to them in their own language. And you see lots of them, their heads moving side to side to looking at each other, nodding and speaking, um, and a little bit of chatter. Um, and the one with the palm raised out puts his other arm, his other arm up to, like, it's almost like a stop. You'd read it as a stop, and the others actually stop. Okay. And um, it says something, and then you get the chatter. Um, and the chatter is usually, we can understand them. Um, that's amazing how they do that, all that sort of stuff. And then you get the message from the, the, their speaker um, that they welcome you aboard, Garnavar. Please enter and be safe. Okay, well, don't mind if I do. I kind of, kind of, I mosey on a little bit further in. Mm -hmm. um, um, Rage, do you want to do anything to help him with the palm thingy? Yeah, uh, yeah. So I would, yeah, I would describe. Um, well, I would run through what we know of them as they speak. Okay, um, and give me a, they... a sociology role. I got a five. Okay. Make up something. What do you think should happen? You might guess right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what, was it palm up or palm down? Palm down, but raised at an incline of about 45 degrees. Palm High down. above your head? No, like I was. Kinda... Uh, I, no, I'm going to run with palm down at the incline. So just reply with the same thing. Yep, I go ahead and do the same thing. You know, I kind of repeat their gesture. Okay. Uh, I made the same. Go for it. Sorry, guys. Give me two seconds. We'll be right back. Okay. okay. Okay, so is Garth doing anything excess at the moment, or is he just shutting up, just listening and, and following instructions? I I follow the instruction, but if the people bow, I bow. Okay, Rodeo. Um, they. It's not hostility or anything, but there's it's sort of um, not quite puzzlement either, but there's a little bit dis disconcerting sort of. I immediately. I immediately retract my arm and kind of take a step back and kind of just put my hands down by my sides. Okay. Um, right, well, the one who's got its arm out will very slowly 
foot over the lip, move into the airlock with you. Very slowly move towards you. Hold the arm out like it is. They take your right hand very gently. They get you to hold your palm up and then move it at a downward 45 degree angle. Um, no, sorry, upward 45 degree angle. Is it okay. Count? No, downward, downward 45 degree angle. Or so like a mirror of them or symmetrical to them? Um, a reverse mirror of them, really. So like, um, so like, like kind of like a handshake to meet theirs. Of, yeah. But Def. for a human, that's quite difficult. If you actually try to do that, we don't, we're not sort of, that would be sort of the end of our extension sort of thing, unless you've got double jointed things. And then they just, he just joins it and then just the palms touch, he just touches it once. And says something, roughly two seconds later, welcome. Um, let's say, say I'm honored to meet you on behalf of my people, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, um, can I advise a formal greeting? Up to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I would advise of a formal greeting that I have picked up. Mm -hmm. um, would we mirror what they did? Yeah. You know, I'll draw that. Uh, yeah, so I advise of a formal greeting um, and how they greet each other in the formal manner as opposed to the informal. You haven't seen any evidence of that part yet. Oh, you just damn. heard formal speak, what appeared to be more formal than um, informal. Okay, then in that 30 second gap, I advise the team um, how, how to speak and the actions um, in the formal greeting. Okay. So saying, keep it formal. Sure. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. The creature slowly moves backwards out of the lock and moves backwards and just for you to come forward. Okay. I slowly kind of inch forward, being very, very um, kind of like uh, innocuous or um, yeah. very kind of um, slow in all my gestures. Okay. Um, and as you go, the front ones put their hand up, do the same sort of incline thing as you pass. I repeat the gesture that he kind of mimed me into as okay. I pass them. Yep. So that whole atmosphere changes again back to how it was sort of before. And they sort of start talking. Your computer's working. It's starting to... <laughs> there's too many of them talking. Um, it's It's... Squawking, it gets the odd word out, but there's just too many of them talking for it to make sense of what you're trying to, what it's trying to translate. Um. Okay. Um. Shit. I ask the the first one that made contact with us first. Um. And say, um, trouble translating or trouble translating. Um. One person speak at a time. Okay. Um. It goes through. Um, it sort of inclines your, its head towards you and then it holds its arms up and just does a um, like a flap of its hands it says something um, and then it translates as be quiet, be quiet uh, and then they're, they're all sort of quiet and down sort of thing you, you're understanding that their body gestures the body language has a similarity to yours but there is difference so okay. it is hard to read, but there are some similarities that you're sort of picking up. So I'm remember. taking notes. So obviously, as this is all happening, I'm yeah. also taking notes yeah. um, in the instance that we all, all of us end up getting invited on, because obviously mm -hmm. at some point we're hoping that you advise, because obviously we've got, we've got missions or planes and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And so I can go back to who I need to and explain um, what we saw. Okay. So, Wait, what? <clears throat> so, um, Remington, you've had the meeting. Now it's time for you to schmooze. They are sitting or standing around you and um, Garth, and they are listening, waiting for you to talk. Okay. I say, on behalf of a great people, a galaxy-spanning nation. 
we come and we offer goods to trade, art to 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 barter, and you know knowledge to to uh, gain. I guess. What would you like? What would you like from us, and what would you offer us? That kind of thing. Okay, so the other one um, thanks you for your forthrightness. Um, it is not in the nature of their people to be so forthright. Um, if you wish to, we can um, dispense with the ceremonies of welcome and of connection. So I, I I advise I advise do the ceremony of connection and whatnot because while mm. they may be advising that we should they would not do it I think it's important for us to do it because it shows respect for their culture. Okay, so here in that I say I'd be honored to you know take part in your ceremony of uh, connection okay. greening. So what you presented with, um, remember they do have artificial gravity. Um, it is much lighter. It's point four five g. Uh, they seem to move quite easily within this, um, but they are having um, what basically looks like to do a slightly odd Japanese tea ceremony. Um, so you're welcome to sit down. They clear out a space. Um, someone yep. brings forth this this liquid. Um, you do have an Omnicomp, um, which you can send the information back to the scanner and, and drag, uh, sorry, uh, Rays can see if there's any immediate issues. So there may be hidden issues, but to see if there's any immediate issues with the sure. liquid. So Rays, exactly. if you well, yeah. give me a, um, uh, what were we using? Computers or uh, electronics, I think. Computers, computer check for sensors. Dun, 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 dun. Give me a second. And these guys need you to roll high because they don't want to be drinking poison. Don't you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, probably not my time. <laughs> okay. One for computer. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Ray's tells you he's not able to get anything off this. It's it's totally inconclusive. Um yeah, so do your best. He'll he'll okay, so he'll, he'll re-put the or re-input the stuff and try to get information for you out of it. While so doing from it. this, okay. So from this, what I want, I do want to spend a little bit more time going through everything that I have. So I mean, they're gonna obviously they're gonna consume it, but they're probably gonna stress out about doing it. So I want to spend maybe the next half an hour because I don't have a lot of time. Um. Oh no, because I have to do the ceremony at the same time. Ah, oh, crap! Can I have the computer no, run? The be it. That's okay. I'll just tell them. I'll just. I'll just tell them if they hand it to me as they hand it to me, and you know, I kind of do the thing. I say, I tell them I need more time, you know, to to make sure it's not poisonous to my biology. That's it. I'm just going to be straightforward with them. Okay. Again, they come up very politely. We appreciate your honesty, but do you think we'd purposely poison you? On this, the most no. august first no, no. meeting? No, no. Our biology might be different. Advise them, what's, what's advise okay them. For you. So my suggestion is advise them how yeah. we do things on Earth, right? So what we tell them, because they don't know anything about us, that mm -hmm. on Earth, um, well, what you on do is on, your, on yeah. our home planet, you watch um, their, the people performing the ceremony consume the tea and then what we do is we wait a half hour <laughs> um, okay it's just it's um it's just a sign of uh, respect and formality in our and our on our home world obviously i'm lying but it buys us a half hour um let's see hold on where is I don't have a deceptions no, skill. No, you have liaison, which I'm going to ask you to roll. Roll in a second based on what you decide to do for this moment. Are you going to uh, a, drink yeah, it, that's... B, <laughs> prolong the agony, or C, decline it? Basically, those are your three options right now. But I also advise do not decline it, so you've only really got two. I take a... Before I make my decision, I take a, a sniff. I sniff the, the liquid in front of me and try to suss out any kind of like um you know um noxious fumes like i'm not okay. kind of nothing noxious if anything it has a slight floral scent okay well in that case i you know hold up and say thank you and i take a sip a small sip yep 
Okay, um, you're sort of getting a really weird combination of taste out of this. Sort of, okay. uh, as I said, floral. Also, a sweet sort of note that would be associated with rosemary. And then a really deep sort of cumin-like flavor. Okay. So very, very sweet, but has that de a big depth to it at, at the same time. Um, and the, 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 now you see, when you drink, you see, you hope it's a smile, because it seems to indicate a smile to what a human would do. Um, and it says something and bows its head to you, and it says, and by the giving and receiving of this drink, of this fluid, we are bound. I as host, you as guest. Cool. Ceremony complete. Um, yeah. I, feel I like drink too. Things, but yeah. You drink too? Cool. Okay. Right out. Gareth, awesome. Gareth, um, is it Garth or Gareth? I never remember. I think it's Garth. Uh, Garth. 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 Okay. Yeah. So Garth drinks. Cool. Okay. Um, so do we want to um, kind of bring like our dog friend into the into the fray? What? Well, so I can raise the roof. Yeah, Let's go. Right. Woof, woof. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I uh, is this a discussion? Well, you're in the middle of this, finishing the ceremony. So, what um, what does Remington want to do? You, you've got, okay. You've got basic. I got the command of everybody's 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 attention here. Yeah, because we're um, about to go into a liaison role, depending on what you do. Yes. Um. Okay. I tell them I would like to enter discussions on possible trade we might we might partake in between our two people. Um, the creature does that slightly unsettling smile. You know, okay, I can tell you exactly what it looks like. Um, you know the sloth on um, Zootopia? Yep. Yeah? When he does that slow smile. <laughs> and then he's, just, he's sort of getting oh, really, yeah, you know, yeah. like... It's spooky the way it gets really accentuated at the end. That's what you see this creature do. Okay. Yeah. So, so a shiver kind of runs down my spine, yeah. and I. Uh, oh God, are you hoping that's a good sign? I'm I'm nervously awaiting his answer, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, he or she, you're not quite sure what you're talking to because you haven't introduced names or anything. Mm -hmm. um, um, oh shit. The, it, it calls it to says my my given name is Pon. Your name is. I pull my hand to my chest and I say, Remington. And Me kind of then, you chain. Yeah. Pon. Okay, so <laughs> Pon says with some difficulty, Remington. Um, it is good to meet you. You seem to be a very fourth right to the point race um, do you have any artistic endeavors in your culture many 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 artistic endeavors i personally may be forthright and to the point my race and all the races my um community uh, encapsulates are, are 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 of many different dispositions Many, many artistic people, many um, scientific people, every, 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 um, which way? Okay, give me a liaison role, please, now, um, with your, um, I'm just thinking, uh, what's your social? Fucking five. Oh, God. <laughs> um, well, you're not using your social, you're trying to educate, so I'm thinking you're probably using your intelligence. Okay. So that'll be a plus one. Okay, one plus, I think, level one in liaison. Liaison, where are you, liaison? Okay. So I just, I just want to go over the basics. With with any skill roll... Is oh, what the fuck? What? I just rolled really bad. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, but hey, I got, uh, I got doubles. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Success. That, that's the other thing. Um, oh, God, double ones. Um... That's the other thing. If you ever roll doubles on a skill roll, you add a point one to it. When you get up to, if it were to clock over to the next number, you take away all the points and you roll 2d6. If you get an 8 or more, 
through experience, you've just increased that level by one in that skill. Okay, so it's just a um, experience, um, a knowledge by experience sort of thing. Um, but I just want to say, uh, going back, um, liaison roll was a five. I want to re-roll. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's a bit bit confused. It seems to be puzzled or confused or it's just hesitant or something because it doesn't seem to answer. Pond doesn't answer very quickly after that. Um, and then Pond comes up with the question, how many different cultures are in your collective? Fuck, do I have an answer for that? Um, well, you, you know it's upward, upward of um, 50 at least. 50 different cultures? Is that it? Yeah. Well, that's the area you know. I mean, I haven't designed yeah. a empire or anything, so... Okay, um, so I tell him, my, my bubble, my personal experience, 50 cultures, wide variety. Okay, again, there's a silence, and uh, Pond sort of asks your forgiveness for his... Abruptness? His inability to answer quickly. Um, yeah. We live in a very insular society here. Um, we have known of the existence of other races for a short time, or other race, we weren't aware of that many. Um, I ask, I, I tell so is it mm. Ma, uh, Matt or Excess, sorry, whoever's talking. Um, ask Remington. Remington, sorry, I only see, yeah. yeah. I, I tell yeah, Remington, I ask Remington, ask if they would like some art that we have on our planet. And then as I do that, I'm essentially going to go into Google and find out the most beautiful pieces of art from earth and all forms okay, and what so, have like poetry okay. and is there, also hold on is the um the music that he said was kind of is that has that been playing kind of through the i guess the omnicron whatever you called it the um, music only played on the ship while we yeah. were in while we were conversing yeah, with we'll be doing it while you're doing it yeah but okay. we can show so we can show the different okay. styles of so art. first the thing is rays um Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so what you think is beautiful might not be as someone else. Also, do you know how many different types of art there are that you're talking about? Well, first of all, I kind of, I want to, like, I kind of do an aside into my little trans, trans, um, yep. um, Omnicom. And, and the com, Omnicom, and I say, hey, um, if you're looking at art, different types of art, let's go ahead and, um, choose art that depicts scenery, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, something that they can understand. Really yeah. Right. Okay. Um, like what our, what our planet sure. looks like. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Okay, cool. Okay, so um, you start showing them some pictures on your Omnicomp. Um, they all sort of gather around and look. And, they, ooh, and, okay, um, and, I, and I also and asked them if the music that was playing when we first met was pleasing to them, if they could hear that coming through the uh, the their, their luck. We thought that was part like of your communication. I explained to them that it's um, some a form of it's a form of art that we uh, that we partake in, well, and um, if well, they have anything, music, for you. Have music, but we thought that was part of your ability to communicate. Ah, uh, you were it. Um, say say yes. Say it is. Um, yes. Yeah, it is how we communicate, but we communicate um through this music um via our feelings so not i say i say we communicate with words for logic we communicate with music for emotions ah, yeah yes that makes sense to them. right well okay. then perhaps the two cultures have some commonality um, sweet as, as to your questions about trade and commerce uh, you would have to talk to the most enlightened citizen, Valen Varnor. Sorry, can you repeat uh, that, please, Steve? The most enlightened citizen, Valen Varnor. 
Okay, so if I go over my notes real quick. Mm -hmm. The name is very familiar. Um, see, I think it's an individual since I can analyze his whole status on a consensus hyperacy, but that's not a task. Okay, is the, the num is like the number one um, person. Like, he is seen as the uh, high priest. Is that right? That's one possible inter interpretation. Yeah. So he is essentially seen uh, yeah, as the... Uh, um, yeah, so the fact he's if he's impressed, that's a good thing. From the knowledge that we have and the notes that I've taken. Do we um, want to let these guys know that we've kind of been perusing their their internet? Would that be offensive to them, do you think? Yes. I advise yes. Okay, then I say to them, I'm most interested in speaking to your most enlightened citizen. How might we uh, how might we make this uh you know come to fruition? Um is your Starcraft capable of uh, landing on the planet? Is it? I think we I think we are. Yep, you are. You are. How much okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys want to meet these guys? I I, I yes I would, but I think it's important that they know that I'm like a six foot something dog. <laughs> By beetle dog. Well, By beetle they're, dog. They're big though. They're like nine foot creatures, and like they're kind of girthy too. So yeah, actually, you, you're about dead. seven feet tall, but you're shorter than these creatures. But yeah, you would appear more probably like a prey creature than um, a predator than a prey creature. Yeah, I asked them. I asked them. Have you encountered um, this other race that you you know of? Do they have? We, are, we have seen have you... ships unfamiliar to yours. Um, we are aware that there is another beings out there, um, but they have not. Unless you are them, they have not stopped to contact us. I don't know. I, I know nothing of this, and I wanna. I wanna kind of ask him. I wanna say, we do have other crew aboard our ship. We left them behind because their appearance is could be interpreted as um, offensive, possibly um, frightening. But they have evolved yeah. past large teeth and claws used, you know, earlier in their in like by their ancestors for rending flesh and bone and stuff. However, they have evolved. You are very wise in not presenting them as your first point of contact. Obviously, I just want... Okay, so... <laughs> this is a silly fucking um, kind of road to, to travel down. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to make sure that we are all evolved species and we only wish to procure uh, um, friendship and alliance d despite our disturbing appearances. You are not disturbing to us at all. No, <laughs> you haven't seen him yet. <laughs> ah, right. Do you have a picture? Okay. Could could we hey. see them on your little screen? Yeah, I go ahead and I ask him to, you know, send me a little picture so I can show this guy. Okay. So, good Anthony. Hey, how you going? All good, all good. So Hi. um just so you know, XS down the bottom there. Spanish guy from England taking over Garth tonight. Hello. No worries. Hey, how are you? Okay, so we're just in the middle of the conversation. Um, hopefully you'll catch up. Um, Am I actually an hour and a half late? No. Nah. No, about half. Because I thought, because I thought it, because it was daylight savings. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's all cool. It's all cool. But, okay, right. cool. Okay, Rodeo. So um, you show him a picture. Um, yeah. What? And you notice an interesting thing. Um, the top of their head flushes like bright, bright red. And um, you actually see some nictating membranes across his eyes. So there's a bit more to these creatures than what meets the eye. Nasty. I say, hey, are you okay? Um, you were correct. Um, the visage is that of something similar that used to hunt us on our planet. This particular individual is part of our crew. 
and he has never used his teeth or claws to hunt another animal. I'm vegan. He only eats he, he only he only eats he only eats vegetation and foodstuffs that do not come from other living sentient beings. <laughs> upon wants That's to meet crazy. this being, he wants he wants to understand how this is possible. Um, their, their scientists have have had great theories on the ability to actually change the sort of nature of of the predator beasts on their planet. Um, they've yet to find a way to do that. So he'd be very very interested in meeting this uh, the the name of this uh, intelligent being. What's his name? Rays. Rays. His name is Rays, and I, I guess I say, "Hey, Rays, do you want to come in?" Well, hold on. How many? That's how many people do we have in the ship now? Is it just Rays and Rays whoever and Jack. Anthony is? and Jack? Do we want Rays to come in and on me? Like, I mean, why not? Let's get Rays. Rays, why don't you come down and meet these guys? Okay. Okay. <laughs> he wanted. They wanted to meet him, right? That's yeah, that was yeah, her request, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. I so, say, all right. He's on his way. Just. Okay. okay, in that 20 minutes, um, see if you want to do another liaison role just to see if you can sort of start easing a bit more into your goal, which is to yes. create some sort of trade agreement of some sort. Okay. Give me something better, please. What the fuck? Is there another <laughs> double two? Double one? It must be. Yeah, double oh, ones again. Shit. Okay, well, at least your liaison is going up. Um, well, not really just doing me. Fucking good. <laughs> no, no, but well, your skill will get better. Um, I guess. Uh, what well, the potential's there? Okay, so um, can I attempt to land the ship? What are you I'm landing up. it on? You're in space. Yeah, I mean, are you landing it on their space station? What we're already docked. That might not be a good thing. Let's okay. let's go ahead and leave it. Yeah. Oh wait, I no, they I'm don't have any. No, no, hold on. Yeah, they don't have any. So, didn't he need a? Did did we make? Did we? Um, I I, I guess. Draw a tether? Did we have a tether when we came over the first time? No, no, no. You're not connected to them. You're just um, holding stations. So he can put the ship on holding station. That's not a problem. What's okay. your zero G? What's your zero G at? Um, I actually have a really good vac suit. Yes, you yeah, have a about... good vac suit. What's your zero, what G? zero G? Um, I don't know. Hmm. That'd be good to know. If what anything should horribly happen out there, you need to roll. I think um, it's a bottom right skill under basic skills. Yeah. <clears throat> what's what's your name, Xerxes? The other the, the guy that's with me. What's his name again? Xerxes Garth. 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 I think Garth is the one that kind of very yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's yeah. we went over last time. Yeah, might be a good idea for him to kind of you know jump back and bring you over. Oh, uh, my zero G is at minus three. You, you definitely my need... zero G is is one. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I now I am the guy. Uh, yeah. What do you need uh, that that I may? Huh? We want to know what you want to do. So definitely, where you go? Stay on the ship, I think. Right. Yep. So move you over, and get, get Drex, and bring him over here. Basically, otherwise you could float off in the middle of space somewhere. But we want to, we want to keep somebody obviously aboard our ship with some sort of sure. piloting skill. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Jack, do you have piloting skill? Uh, yeah. I've got aircraft. Grab vehicle only. That's it. Okay. Uh, do you have Jack? Rough. Yeah, I do. Rough. I've got Jut too. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay, that's not bad. Excess? Sorry, excess. What are you saying? I, in piloting, I have one, and zero, zero G, I have one too. Do we want to, do we want to kind of like trade them? Maybe take, um, uh, Jack, Jack, uh, Jack's kind of back and like bring uh, Drax or Garth over. Garth is with you. It's your Shit. Garth, um, and it's, it's yeah. The only problem is that no one else has zero G skill either. So yeah, Garth yeah. is the guy who you need to ferry people over. Yeah, Garth so. needs to be there. Well, he could do like a three point kind of turn, right? <laughs> jump over, <laughs> you know, bring bring Drax back and then jump back, you know, to the ship he to be do. the pilot yep. just yep. in case. Okay. Just so him out. Okay, so that's what you do. Yeah, so that's okay with everybody else. There's no Makes danger sense. as long as you've got someone like Garth who's got some skill. He can he can do all this really, really easy. It's only if something okay. bad happens, like you hit by a sudden meteorite shower. 
Oh, let's roll for that. No, I won't. Because um, <laughs> that's when it'll happen. Um, so he does affect the change with Rays. Rays is in the airlock. He's gone back to the ship. Um, Garth, you are sitting up um, in the cockpit, ready to do whatever you have to do in case there is an emergency. Uh, okay. Jack, are you still sitting in the gunnery tower or a turret, or are you doing something else now? No, no, I'm still in the turret. Okay, cool. Just keeping Sweet. watch, just can, trying to stay alert. Okay, well, sweet. Uh, can you give me a gunnery sweep, please? Uh, gunnery roll? Yep. Uh, what is it with five tonight? Uh, double two. <laughs> Fucking A, what the hell? Got another double gunnery 1.1. Gunnery <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Jesus. Okay, right here. You're lucky exactly. I haven't played anything nasty for this particular encounter. Can't see anything, guys. You're all clear. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I totally trust you. Yeah. I couldn't see anything for the huge meteorite shower that's heading our way. It's got in the way of me seeing things. Um, okay. Garth Great. in the cockpit. Um, Jack's in the gunnery tur turret. Raves, you move through the lock, um, airlock. Uh, you enter. you still got your helmet on. Um, you slowly take it off. Um, as you reveal... Um, what you actually look like, there are a few, you can see reactions in some of them. The, that, that part of their head, that middle stripe part of their head, yeah, it blushes at the top and goes right down to where the nose is. And you see several of them have um, a nictating membrane that, like, they're still watching, but it just closes quickly. So they're, that's, that's what they look like when they're probably scared, I'd say. Something, yeah, they definitely. I say, I, hold up, I kind of like you know, like no worries, guys. He's he's harmless. We we okay. defanged him a long time ago. <laughs> so Pon tentatively walks up to um, Ray's, holds its arm out at that angle, the palm and whole thing. What are you doing, Ray's? Okay, I because I took notes. I <laughs> hold my palm up and move at a downward forty-five degree angle, reverse mirroring of them. Um, okay. to join and hopefully a palm starts once. Yes. Okay. Radio. So you get that really weird grin. You now being a dog, a grin normally is a sign of danger because they're bearing their teeth. But because this thing does it so slowly, and right at the end, it sort of accentuates itself. You know, like it moves out half a centimeter on each side of its mouth. It just looks strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like it's. It's a tiny bit creepy. <laughs> yeah. So the, the, this is your sort of first interaction with the body language, and it's, it's like, are you ever going to get used to that? Um, so obviously Remington's managed some way because he's been stuck with these creatures, and yeah. So Remington, you, you sort of move away from your talking back to Pon. Pon, um, mm -hmm. someone leans over and talks quietly into Pon's, um, what you're accepting to be his ear or some hearing area. Um, Pond then relays to you via your computer that um, Balan Vanor has um, arranged a place where you can land your vehicle in safety and away from crowds. Um, everybody wishes to see you. Their knowledge of your existence has traveled their planet already. Um, but there are some ceremonies that must be completed first. So okay, Pond, um, I, I, we'll... I asked them, yeah. I asked them um, okay, so great, sounds like we're heading down there soon. I don't know how easy it is for you and your, yours to get up out of the, you know, the gravity well. Um, if you'd like us to take something down I with us, maybe. I am to accompany you. Oh, all right, well, cool. Let's um, go. What is the force of your gravity aboard your ship? Well, whatever. Can we can we can we augment that? Can well, we change you, it? You can change it. You you stand. Whatever you like. It to be. I tell him whatever you would like it to be. Okay, radio. So Pon will get into his his her its back suit. You're still not sure what what gender Pon is. Um, because it's God only knows. You have noticed yes, there is a difference in coloration. So some are sort of a green. With uh, and I mean that's like a bald one of these creatures. They're quite woolly. I go ahead. I hope I go ahead and stop him, and I ask, "Are you an asexual species, or or or, or what? Are you, what are you?" We, if I understand the question, we have three genders. Oh, neat! Explain them, please. 
we have the uh, what they call the um the, he, he struggles to find the right word and the translator isn't isn't working well um but then he's got the the mother and then they have um the it's loosely translate as as um carrier ray a razor of child so so a mother razor of child and i suppose you can't quite work out what it what it actually means the computer has difficulty um trying to translate what it means um getting it to sort of go to close approximations you get things like dominator um, <clears throat> strength oh. um life giver yeah the, the, but it's still I ask, are your like genders it. Um, very different physically? Uh, yes. Do they do they occupy different roles in society? Meaning, yes. like job, possibly. Yes. Is there a subjugation of different types of genders? No. Each, Remember, each one of us could be any of these genders. Oh, no, me. Yeah. So all of them. Remember that all they all coexist. Um. Everything they do is coexistent within other people. Yeah, so... so each, so each, from what I assume, from what his listening said, and what we know, while each gender plays a each gender plays a role in a, the entire the the society, but no role is worth more or less than any other, except for the most enlightened citizen, Balin Vanor. Balin Vanor, who is the well, most I, enlightened citizen. Yeah. Oh, I really like this. My God, Steve, good work. <laughs> Seems like did I did I hear him just say that they can be any gender they like? No, no, they they fulfill a gender that is required by their community. Okay, so they can be any gender that's needed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So think of fish. You know, like Weird. fish could be born. Um, some types of fish could be born male and then or female, and then if the male dies, clownfish. Yeah, yeah, and the male dies. They can switch to painting what it is that the school needs. I learned poor fucking Nemo. I learned it from Nemo. Okay, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, this is okay. Cool. So, all right, cool. So I guess we're on our way, and we are enlightened a little bit more yeah, by so, our friend. Yeah. Um, so, space Tom, you'll, you'll notice has a certain grace in zero g gravity. Uh, whether that's because they come from a low g planet or not, you're not sure. But um, Pon moves. So much more gracefully and easily than all of you. Um, they do also their their their, their actual vacuum suits are quite bulky, um, but he still moves with the grace. Um, they're obviously a much lower tech than your guys' ones. Your, your guys' ones are, I think, tech level eleven. Mine is eleven. Oh, um, um, a 10. okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Just to clarify, sorry, yep. family. I haven't had. I don't have mine written down. I don't think. That's okay. So, um, yeah, as higher it up it gets, it becomes more and more like clothing, um, and just has a better range of communicator and better length of life support, basically. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, early early stages uh, vac suits. Um, Pon is very interested in your own vac suits when he gets onto your ship. Um, and of course, Garth, I'm afraid you're going to have to get out of the cockpit and help bring the others over, otherwise they could be floating anywhere. Um, yeah. Although Pon, Pon will help one of you easily get over. Um, and Pon is um, quite... Um, you're not sure whether it's amusement or um, being impressed or whatever, um, Like, because your, your life your airlocks are all doors that slide. But there's are they have those dope ass iris airlocks yeah. though. I'm yeah. impressed by their airlocks. Yeah, and um Pon does ask, uh, why did you do use this in your design when an iris structurally is so much more stronger? I'm not an engineer. You'd have to ask those guys. We specialize ex we in our in our in our trades. Okay. Do you have them on board your ship? No, but we might be able to pull up some files, possibly. Okay. Where Maybe. shall I sit as we descend to the planet? Next to me. 
There you go. Okay, so um, Pond makes it... Di it's difficult for Pond to sit in, in the chair because obviously it's built for human slash hawund. He's another two feet um, on you. Um, but anyway, it sits there. Um, so it's got a bird's eye view of you entering the, the um, God, don't screw up the pie and roll and crash. Uh, that's what I can say. I just want to finish the description. So this would, the picture I've got there would be a naked, shaved off all the hair. They're actually quite woolly and shaggy, not quite to the extent of a Wookiee, somewhere between that and a Wookiee halfway. Um, so they have a greenish coloured skin, but their fur slash wool slash hair, whatever you want to call it, um, mm -hmm. goes from a dark reddish brown through to a light fawnish yellow. And each one, like, there's some who tend to be taller who seem to be this dark reddish brown and some who are slightly smaller who tend to be this fawny yellowish fur. That's the difference in coloration. And their first starts to, like, their lower neckish kind of area? No, the first starts from over the whole body except for that middle piece which is exposed. And the, oh. the and the heart shaped face. So the rest of the head is covered with the the fur. Okay, everything but the face kind of area. Gotcha. Face and that that one piece up the top, up you know where you saw the redness. Um, yes. Yeah. So Pon is just looking, not touching, but just sort of moving its hand over your instrumentation and just trying to see how it could fit its hands and like it's obviously not going to because it's made for human size hands. Um, although yours ones have a slight adaptation. Um, for your uplifted dog type fingers, which are sort of. Please don't feel this part of the role. Please no. get a 14. Yeah. yeah, okay. So you move away from the space, space station, which is easy. And now you've got to make a roll coming into the um, planet. Now, every time you enter a, in, uh, into an atmosphere, you have to make a piloting roll. There are some adjustments. There is no storm, so you don't have a penalty. The fact that it's okay. a very thin atmosphere means that it's easier because it's not so much difference between that and space. So you get a plus two because the atmosphere is a very thin atmosphere on top of your roll. Yep. Okay, so plus you look out two. for the difference in density of the atmosphere to the space around you and the difference in weather. Yeah, okay. I'll be ready. Okay. I'll go. Ready? Yeah. 14! Yes! <laughs> So you glide in, uh, go down to the um, coordinates. You can see as you get closer from your sensors um, that um, there is a body of individuals. You would guess somewhere in like 2050, something like that. Is it worth running the scanners and stuff for the environment at the same time, if oh, possible? Yeah, okay, yeah, I would like to run the scanners so we can get like a... You're piloting, so it's going to have to be someone else who has computer skill. Yeah, so I advise the group, if someone can take, um, like, scans of the layout and stuff, where the asteroids are in relation to the planet and rare moons, all that sort of stuff. Remember, this planet like, doesn't have a moon. Oh, my apologies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, do, a, <clears throat> yeah, do a, um, a check just to see. So you want the astro more an astrogation scan as opposed to the atmospheric scan? I would like both. You, you're in the atmosphere, so that's easiest to do with the atmospheric oh. one. I can, yeah, I can the atmosphere. Someone else can do the other one. You're piloting. You start piloting and doing something else. You you divide your attention. Not me. No, not, not me. Somebody else. Okay, uh, so who got computer space. skill that can run a sensor scan? I got, I got computer skills. Okay. I'm back, sorry. Um, you're all let me... please. You're all please. So computer plus it? intelligence. Uh, oh, sorry. This let me one is it. probably going to need education because you need to know what Composition is a good composition for human. Okay, so that is no modifier. Okay, okay. except for computers. Why is it doing fives? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, guys, I don't. Can I? Let me just um, go just ahead and. Just a random number. Just see what you get. Five. Uh, um, five, five, five. What is that? Roll. One, two, okay. three, um, six. Um, can I do like a surveying? Just look around make sure like or not just make sure but just see if like people are following us or uh yep you can use your gunnery sensors to see if there's any ships in your immediate area thank god oh my god what the 
<laughs> all right, guys. I think let's all go ahead and just uh, log out of roll six. You know, <laughs> reboot it. Or roll 20. It's just oh you're my lucky God. that you're not rolling on the crit mission critical things. That's all I can tell you. Wow. Okay. You Was that, did, I, did I need to add any modifiers to that? <laughs> so how many, how many, don't even how many, it wouldn't how be how enough. How many did our ship break into when we entered the atmosphere? Are, no, are nothing still... because your pilot rolled a 14. Thank uh, God. Yeah, it's just, it's, for some reason, Anthony was pushing the button on the can opener Instead of the turret <laughs> system, <laughs> someone got in reason. I'm not sure why. Um, and you were trying to do the buttons on your shirt instead of using the, just the eating my lunch while I'm trying to operate yeah. the turret. That's it. That's right. Um, okay, so you guys. Um, so uh, Garth, it's usual for you to check engines um, once everything's shut down to make sure that there's no damage done to them. So that would require you to make a engineering check now. Okay. Don't worry, you've got yep. all the bad rolls out of the way. Yeah. So two d six plus your level of engineering. Pl oh. Um, plus uh, plus wow. two is nine. Is nine plus two. Yep. And um, I was going to say either intelligence or education as a bonus because both apply. So I don't know what because that's not factored in into that role. Intelligent. Intelligent is plus two, then I get nine. Okay, rightio. So, um, Garth, you're looking over the engines once it all shut down. Um, it does take about half an hour, so you guys are getting ready and all that sort of stuff. You're not going to rush out straight away. Garth can report to you, Ray's, that the engines are all still A-OK. -okay. Nothing's cracked, nothing's <clears> going <throat> wrong. There's no radiation leaks. You're not going to have any embarrassing things left on the planet or anything like that. It's not going to be one of those I'm embarrassing sure. things. Yep, so... Yep. Um, the ship can be basically left on idle, and if, if you need, Garth can leave the ship because nothing needs to be taken care of or maintained. Um, yeah, should we not leave our gunner there, though? Just just in case. I knew they yeah, seem yeah, friendly. Um, but let's just leave the gunner here. Yeah. I'm, my surveying skills are just top notch at the moment. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. You could always go out and, and look with a with a permanent pen marker on the outside, draw some little targets. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can get something to see. Anyway, I don't okay. think I'd be able to hit anything if I saw anything. Right, yeah. so, Do we have books on the aircraft? You've got electronic files. If you talk a book, that's fine, but you know. Um so, as I said, it's a very thin atmosphere. It's not tainted, so you don't need a respirator and a filter, but you do need to wear a respirator mask. Uh, you, that's either a respirator mask or a combi mask. Um, I don't think you need, at that level, to wear a back suit. It's um, just uh, for you. Um, it is in the back of the book. What you need for that, that style of atmosphere. <coughs> all, I have, all I have are gills. <laughs> that gills. sounds helpful. I have what gills, my inventory or my equipment says. I don't. I don't know. Oh, I have <laughs> gills. No, you, yeah. you would all get one out of the ship's locker. You would have a filter okay. mask. You'd have a respirator. And you'd have a combi in there. It would be part okay. of your general equipment because it's it's common. Um, I knew joining the union was a good idea. There you go. There you go. You see. Okay, and I wish I could find it, but it's not presenting itself very quickly, which is not very nice. Oh, look. And this one doesn't have an index to make it easy for me to find out stuff. God damn it. New books. I just don't know where things are. Hang on. I need to look up the index. See if that helps me. Worlds, 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 worlds. That's excellent. Worlds, there we are, 93. And then it was at the back of the book. Okay, radio folks. Uh, so, a trace, a very thin atmosphere, you just need a breather. They call it a breather in this one. So, very thin, low air pressure, humans require a breather to condense the atmosphere to a breathable pressure. A very thin, tainted atmosphere uses both the breather condenser function and the filtration function. Um, so, so, you got to breathe. That won't that would yeah that would be me as well yep everyone you you're sure. not, yeah the only person who might have a um 
could be uh, Anthony if he's if he got the side when he did lung thing. Yeah, yeah, I've I've got a I've got a. Um, no, you've got an internal breather, got a, haven't you? Yeah, I got an internal breather. You can just walk around with nothing. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the ship thing. What's the battery life on these things? Um, you just recharge them once you've used them. About eight hours. Okay. Eight to ten hours, whereas Anthony's ones um. Forever. For a long time. You get a little bit of nuclear pile in them somewhere. Um, he has anyway. an internal uh, methane combustion engine. <laughs> yeah, possibly. I just shit out green sticks. That's the one. Okay, yeah. radio. Um, so, Ray's, Remington, and Garth are leaving the ship. I take it, um, being met yes. by this um, individual. So he is different. He is dressed in some regalia, white with what looks like to be gold and silver embroidery or something um on his clothing um a big flowing robe which sort of has a double layer over his shoulders so it looks like he's got a robe on and then he's got these shoulder pieces that go over front and back right to the ground sort of thing um he is wearing um some sort of head piece which goes up the whole cranial above his um eyebrow ridges above right up and uh, past the top um he appears to have his fur cut on the top of his head, shorter. Um, his fur also appears to be going a little bit grey. So there are a couple of others in the group that are going in um, that are um, meeting you. Um, and he introduces himself as Bullen. Um, well, no. You can see some others who are wanting to say something else. He says. Please, I have instructed them not to speak so that your technology can translate accurately. Also, they would wish me to use all of my title. I find it tiresome to be called the most enlightened citizen Balan Banor every single time. <laughs> Balan is yeah, my name. I thank you. I thank him. I, I say thank you very much um, for your courtesy, um, our translators. <laughs> are not that advanced would you like to can we do anything for you to ease this uh for the the stress of this first meeting not at all this is the second meeting therefore it is much easier than the first meeting you have been welcomed to the planet you have connected with us we have all I, I, I i i acknowledge him formally Palms down at a forty-five degree angle. Ah, he says, um, "No, you do not need to do that." He holds his hand up. You do not need to. I kind of, I, I kind of put him in the elbow. Like, come on, man, we don't need to do that. We don't need to go, gotta do it once. Come on. Yeah. And I, so I look at the group and I, I say, I just would like to be. No, sorry. Let me rephrase that. Um, I believe that he is of such worth to his people. I. Just would like to maintain respect. He, yeah. um, he, he thanks you for that. Um, he also says something to a, a human saying along, along the lines of "Don't believe everything you've heard um, about me." Um, he says, "Please uh, let us let us retire inside to eat. If you have m medical means to test our food to ensure that we don't feed you anything poisonous, <laughs> I believe that's well, a concern." Yes, thank you, thank you. We come from different planets. We mm. might not want, uh, we might not have the same <clears throat> taste for, I don't know, say sulfur that each other might, or that you might. Let's let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, retire uh, to your. And he sort of looks at when, when the computer says something and it goes a little bit in the language and it says sulfur. Obviously, it's not a word that translates very well. Um, okay. He says, I do not know what this sulfur is, but perhaps you can <clears throat> explain it to me later. So you get taken into a rather, so the light is a little bit less than on Earth, um, but it's full daylight apparently for them. Um, of course, the atmosphere here is about 0.45, so you're feeling quite, quite happy. Um, enough to keep you on the ground, but enough to, you know, give you a little... I haven't right. felt this in years. Yeah. Um, and once you get inside... Um, you can take the breather off. They they apparently have pumped up the pressure in here for you like they did in the station. Um, 
they they explained it. They understood it because of um, he says it is best that I show you before I'm trying to explain. He plays back a recording of you guys, and you sound really weird. <laughs> they worked out that there was a pressure variance between your atmosphere and theirs, so they changed the one in the station and the one in this room to be closer to yours. I asked um, if they are comfortable, if their people are comfortable yes. in this. You are a non guest here. We would not treat <clears throat> you in any other way. Of course, if you turned into a predator creature, we would not treat you in any other way. I, I quickly, quickly, I, I interrupt. We are not predatory creatures. We, 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 we we're civilized. We only come for friendship and trade. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's our intention to to make this um, first contact with um, intergalactic species as comfortable for you as possible. So, if it would be more comfortable for you to keep this uh, the air pressure. You know, to 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 your normal standards. Um, let go ahead and do that. We can we can accommodate any pressure. He says, then we shall turn it between the two. So you Good. guys are breathing a little bit laboured. He's breathing a little less laboured. Um, okay. But you don't have to wear wear your breathe or anything. So, anyway, okay. So so they bring sorry, yeah. a whole lot of food. Uh, he says, <clears> this is all. Of course, you understand. We only eat plant life i say i'm ecstatic i'm happy if, if you would like to run your equipment through to make sure there is nothing here that is poisonous yes omni comps okay how many comps yep give me a computer roll um i will go ahead and do that are we at an intelligence or education um this would probably have to be an education based thing because you're looking for specific things. I mean, the computer, will, if you make the roll. God damn it. What is your problem tonight, man? <laughs> it sees your name and it just gives you really sucky rolls. Anybody um, else? Okay, so my computer, my Omnicom's on the fritz. Anybody else got an Omnicom around here? They can try to test this food. Um, Garth? Well, I can try because I know a few about all all the stuff. Okay. Yes. So give me a, a computer. Do you have computer? Uh, minus one because I have okay. jack of all okay. trades. And your education um, is? Uh, modification is zero. Okay. But I I trust in the this. Okay. So 2d6 Yay! minus yeah. minus one. Yeah, it's six it's it's normal. It's okay, Garth is scratching his head. Um, it looks like it's up to raise if he can do something. I can't really shade the, the comms. Yeah, it's just <laughs> not working. Are you there back yet? What a fucking showing, man. <laughs> so, okay. I probably wouldn't do it because I would, I would find it rude. Okay, so that's cool. You're not gonna do it. You're just it's a matter it. of life and death, man. It's not rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just do it. They understand you're alien. You're an alien fucking guy. Come on, just test the fucking food, please, for all of our sake. <laughs> okay, so I hesitantly do it. Okay, make your roll. And don't roll a four or three. <laughs> so it's your education is your bonus stat if you've got a bonus on it. Um. Despite the fact that I went to university, I don't. Okay. <clears throat> That's better than any of us. Yeah, but still not enough. Um, <laughs> so, to be definitive, your computer, your Omnicomp, would suggest that this is safe food for you to eat, um, Raze. Well, I'm happy. Okay. So. Radio, so you... Oh. If you start eating it, you'll you'll notice two things immediately about the affair. One is, you know how like um, Asian food has like follows the, the sweet, the sour, the salty, the bitter, yep. all those sort of things. The Everyone five seems to follow, and uh, Remington will pick this up because he drank the tea. Mm -hmm. A lot of their food seems to have a high sweetness level, followed by a very deep dark flavour. 
which balances it. Count is a quite an interesting counterbalance. Yeah, it's, it's flavors that you don't sort of would normally assume to go together, but whatever they're doing or using, it actually complements quite well. Yeah, there's only one sort of thing at Remington that um, is different, um, and it's probably a, a bean or a rice sort of equivalent <coughs> in your your thing, and it has a more of a bland taste. Um, not earthy, but um, if anything, slightly metallic, very slightly metallic. Okay, I um go ahead and I I ask um uh sh what's his name Val no Val Noir no Balan? yeah Balan um I ask him or, or or I say to him um your species seems to be a, a very very artistic in nature um <laughs> your people. Your species, your people, whatever they're the same. Okay, anyway, yeah. your your people. Uh, do you perhaps share the same kind of art artistic endeavors in the creation of your food? You've noticed, he says. As you've if noticed, all, all life, all life, and all endeavors in life for our people, the Zenzar, is to bring beauty or to bring. A good experience into existence. So then you might. Else. So your main trade between your people would be would be art. No, we have very many varied and many different interests. I do. Would you, would you like to expand on these varied interests? Could you? Could you? you know, lead us. Could you? Could you? Uh, Explain to us the type of world you have here. Well, we are not knowing any world beyond, apart from the fact that there are at least two or three other species, but I've been told that you have encountered <clears> 50 <throat> different society cultures? Yes. Yes, yes. plenty, which plenty is, of cultures. Which is not as, as shocking to me as perhaps to others of my race, um, but it's still a vast number to comprehend. For us, we have lived in isolation on this planet, um, and you are the first that have ever made contact with us. Although we have sighted what we believe to be other races who have moved through our system, but most people. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, but most of our endeavours include some sort of aesthetic value attached to it. That does not stop us from exploring scientific endeavours. Um, engineering endeavors, um, the cultivation of food, the raising and education of our young, the ongoing I'm... exploring of the universe. So I as do... as we've seen with your space station, your your endeavors in in the sciences are very um, intriguing um, and something you should be proud of. We yeah. are. So it would it would be it would send a reason that the sciences are um, an area of research you you hold in high regard. Not as as high. The areas are not in any regard, apart from the fact that they must bring either beauty or goodness into the universe for those to experience. Well, what's more beautiful than understanding the world in which they inhabit, or the universe in which you know their world inhabits? It's Aesthetic value is more important. Except, uh, uh, understanding how its value connects to the rest of the universe is more important. I and do that, uh, would like yeah. I would like to step in quickly, mm -hmm. and um, I ask Bolivana, um, is there a, is there a place that we could speak um, with yourself? Uh, <coughs> and a, couple of people you'd like to bring um a, about who you are as a people um more spe specifically i would love i would really like to learn um what your specific role is on this planet <laughs> mine is a very small role if you ask others they would say it's much greater than i believe it is um Whoa. i Go ahead. came to this position um, 
some 20 years ago by our understanding. I do not understand what your measurement of time is. Um, at the time, my people were going through a chaotic period. Um, and through my understanding and learnings and teachings, I was able to help the rest of our race move towards where we are now. And we avoided the cultural implosion. Since that day, we have all started to experience stability, sustenance, and a unitedness that this planet had never seen before. Therefore, in the eyes of my race, I am elevated above them, which I find very disconcerting. What caused this cultural implosion? It's a dark period that we feel we we acknowledge but do not wish to talk to because it was the antithesis of what we believe and practice now. But it threatened, threatened our existence as we know it. Um, Fair enough. We would not be here as a people that you meet now if something was not done. So I gather that you led your people away from these dark times. Yes. I That's just did what I thought anyone could do to help their brethren. Others saw it differently. As you should have, and as anybody, you know, with a good a good, you know, head on their shoulders would do. Um or fortunately you were in a position to to be effective. Mm. Um I then I also ask when you just within your people, when you discuss um, certain topics, such as topics, what up, um, do you discuss them with tea, or do you discuss them with over food? And um, what is the practice? We discuss of them food? as whatever the social event requires. Okay. With the, okay. With or without food, with or without drink. Yes, in the I open think. Wild or in the formal setting of the university. Yeah, so we have been, you know, blessed with uh, a very formal greeting, a very gracious greeting, and we do appreciate it. Everybody, you know, in the on the crew, and everybody, you know, behalf on on behalf of the galaxy, you know, at large. He smiles. Where we come. Um, but he we doesn't would, do that weird smile. It's a half smile. It's sure. And here comes the directness I have been warned about. I apologize. I don't wish you to apologize. I find it interesting. Your ways are interesting to many, many of my people. They, they, they would be very, very keen to spend time with you and partake in your, your um, traditions and learn as much as they can of your art and your ingenuity um but we however have a very simple goal we are um we are are, are expanding our reach into the galaxy to endeavoring to create new friends or, or, or make new friends and cre create um a galaxy of prosper prosperity or prosperity um so in that our 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 um our purpose here is very simple. If you would like to enter the galactic trade system or in the galactic uh, kind of uh, civilization, we would like to know what you expect from us and what we might expect from you. Mm. This requires more thought than what this meeting could provide. Yeah, take it's your time. Interesting proposition. I advise, how about we, all, how about we, um, if all the ceremony and whatnot is over, how about we we'll take a rest um, sure. and tomorrow we have um we discuss um merchant uh merchantile um, things he puts his hand up as in, in a stop motion he says i think there's a difference between directness and moving too fast mm -hmm. I, think, I agree i think we need more than a day or two i think you have opened the door a book we need to look in that book i are you intending to just go forth and never return back this way or another group follows you behind what what is we will we um, will be as, as the captain of the ship i don't know if that's formal or not but you know 
Um, I am happy for you to wait. Uh, obviously, we have things that we would like to do with your people. However, I also understand um, that all things take time. And we are more than happy to take that time. Would you mind if we mingled with your people um, and learnt practices? No, no problem with that at all. Do you have... <clears throat> either written or electronic communication yes we do we do do you have a form of records in either one of those forms yes we do um actually as you bring this up um we have brought two um machines that we use to communicate with other people um and well, they I, don't, they don't communicate with people they're drones they take sensor reading yeah i was gonna say yeah uh, yeah. That they are examples. I kind of like mm -hmm. he fumbled. I kind of inter intercede yeah. and say, we have examples of the type of technology we are familiar with. Um, mm -hmm. Our technology might be easily reverse engineered by your people. Pops, possibly you might see some um, sort of art in the way these these forms um, were constructed. Possibly you might uh, appreciate for its uh, appreciate it for its you know engineering you know value. However, um, we understand you need time to uh, acclimate yourself to the new to new to the new um, galaxy your your new your new worldview. Um, but we are in need of more physical. Um, uh, we, we we have certain necessities. Our ship it does not run on wishes and dreams. Unfortunately, it does require power and resources to to operate. I'm hoping we might be able to trade with you, um, so we can further further um further um traverse or traverse further into the galaxy and make contact with more great species such as yourself. I have a suggestion. Yeah. Okay, so all of us have an Omnicomp, right? Okay. As a sign of good faith, we could leave them an Omnicomp. Yeah. Right, that we can connect with. Um, and when you're in, in, in range. What's the, what's the range of the Omnis? Oh, it's um, like 50,000k or something. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So obviously we still want to get mercantile and I obviously want information about the people. So we could leave them this, we could leave them at Omnicom and ask, um, so we won't go anywhere for say, I don't know how long, how long do we have left on the ship? A week, two weeks? No, that's what I'm asking about right now. Yeah. We might be able to gain some life support here. So let's not yeah. just kind of, let's no, no, not. No, 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 so it's yeah. a trade. Yeah, it's great. A, Keep going trade. the way you're going. Okay, so I, advise him we only have enough supplies on our ship to last us three days as a sign of good faith could your people or you supply us with um supplies for say two weeks in case we do know oh, what's up mm. Fill it up. We have we have plenty to offer. Let's um go ahead and let's not just you know like scoop the bottom of the barrel. We don't okay. want to. We're not doing them dirty. They're not going to do us dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not. Uh, gonna, yeah. yeah. So we're, we are giving. Sort of puts his hand up again. And he says there seems to be some difficulty in in understanding. I suggest we have an exchange of information. We are more than happy to provide you with resources so that you can continue your your travels. Um, we don't wish anything but information in return so we can better understand what we might be getting involved with. Yes, I'm happy I'm happy with that. Um, as you can see, we have provided you with two drones to reverse, you know, to dissect and understand um, how they work. Would you like anything else from us? Would, would you like some data? Don't wish data? any of your technology. Data is all we require. Okay, you let's pull up some records art. Of Wait, the history of your people, the history of oh, your... snap. Didn't we have some movies? We had some movies with oh, us, right? Show them the porn. 
Give him the no, fucking no, 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 yeah. no, 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 okay, sorry, yes. okay. I'm gonna Give do this, the I'm, gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, I'm really sorry, sorry group, I'm, I'm sorry, it's the captain of the ship, I will not give porn. Him. But it's a I, documentary. It's a nature documentary. <laughs> it's yeah, 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 yeah. It's but I'm happy to <laughs> share. Yeah. <laughs> um, I because okay. uh, fear is fear. I am happy Innocence to share. Innocence and fornication. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what he proposes right. is that basically you hand over your what's called um, library data aboard the ship. Um, and they will, in kind, hand over their library data about themselves. That's yeah, good for me. Fair. Um, let's go ahead and kind of sure. go through our library data. Is there any sensitive information in that? Any, like, you what know, say I'd say anything um, that might give them, if they were of the mind, tactical, um, tactical advantage. advantage. Yes. Um, against. Um, us, our galaxy, you know, our like like reduced fire could be a technical advantage. Yeah, so remember that. Where we no, come no. from, where we come from, our tech level is actually higher than theirs. Mm-hmm. Sure. Right? So you can yeah, tell them, but you don't have to provide them information about how to make it. You just tell them yeah, how to exactly. it. Sure. Yeah, but, but like, what, what about like, you know, we obviously out, we're going to screen out things like where our bases are located, military yes, exactly. information, things like that. Um, ve- so vehicular, in our, vehicular in, our um, library, in our library of information, would we civilian. Civilian. Civilian Yeah, we're we oh, can, yeah, we that's fine. Who uh, we yeah. are, what we know okay. about Earth, but there's no information gained for them in terms of secrets. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's not what we want to give them. Yeah. I, I think we can't uh, land um, uh, what an uh, receipts, but uh, from vegetable receipts, yeah. special for the earth. Vegetable recipes, yes, actually, no, they're vegan receipts. Vegan, I receipts. have lots vegan. of vegetable receipts. Yeah. <laughs> our, our resident vegetarian can tell us all kinds of, of recipes, <laughs> of but course. yes, actually, no, that is the idea. Actually, in me, as that's right, I'm supposed to be documenting the mercantile data, I would like. You know, possibly before we leave to kind of get a handle on their um, in their information. They they're not gonna, you know. Bing bang boom! I say yes. Let's do the trade. I'm I'm down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm. It will take I'm, a day for that information. Their their system is different. It is slower mm-hmm. than your system, so it takes a while to upload. Um, although it is quite quick, it is still slower than yours. Yours is much more. I'm not quite instantaneous, but. You know, you use crystal, <clears throat> contain, um, zigabytes, whatever the, the, the bigger up thing is. Um, you know, they're, they're up to the play with terabytes and all that sort of stuff. So I would you like to leave as, gotcha. like a, as a final gift, because I don't know how the antibiotics and stuff work. Well, you um, biology. Do you understand their biology? No, but you want I would to give them something that potentially would create an issue for them. Okay, taking going on, going on, um, Drax. I'm sorry, what's, what's your guy's name? Garth? Is it Garth? No, I'm so this right. Going on, Ray. I wanted to leave behind um, one panacea that they could maybe study, like maybe it could help their people, it could be a hindrance. We don't know. Um, they they but, would be happy with just the information, they don't, they really don't want anything physical of yours. That's great. Um, yeah, instead, of, cool. instead of any of that, I, I go ahead and I try to um, teach. I guess I assume they're like you know, kind of guards, sort of hanging around, you know, oh. our oh. area. I, I try to no guards. They don't have any okay. any of that around. Well, then, um, Ballas is Balan. Is he still around? Yeah. I go ahead and um, I do my best. I try to teach him my. Uh, I, I teach him my secret handshake. Right, and tell them, you know, that this is the key, you know, to 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 our friendship. We, we we're we're buddies now, and like we're galactic partners. So there's there's no going back. He says, "I cannot confirm galactic buddies, but I can confirm that we are interested in forming and developing a stronger relationship between our race and your races." All right, good enough for me. Yeah, I'm happy for that. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. also, am I the captain of the ship? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Remembering Remington is your first contact person. He also has liaison skill. You gotta give him that. You captain so of the, the ship, but you're not captain of me when I'm on the ground. Remington is the captain of all new planets. No. <laughs> Bing bang boom. You got you it. Own in them all. and you don't. No, God no. Oh. Just because um, you okay, hold on, wait a second. I'd like to I'd like to argue a point of contrition. You may be the, the captain of the ship, but you are not necessarily my my boss, you know, when I'm not, okay. you know, specifically How about this? I do think it would be good for us to have like a a person who says yes or no to certain things. Like what? I think something that we agree as a group, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I think we're a democracy. We're, we're yeah. a democracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, we, we, we operate together. We don't need a, yeah, we don't we don't need need a, a spokesperson. We think we're sort of like point of authority. Oh, yeah, you, you, you thought yeah. it would be a good idea to blow up something, and I didn't, and I don't think it's a good idea. But well, yeah. if, majority if, rules. That's how we work. Exactly. Okay, so if the democracy so you, then look you're... Look at your back. roles, guys. Raise, you know how to pilot the ship. So anything to do with piloting the ship really is your sphere of excellence. Garth, he knows how to maintain the ship. Anything to do with that really needs to be his area of expertise and experience. Jack, he's all about security. So anything about security, he's your go-to guy because he's the experienced person there. So if I want to really blow something up, I'm going to blow the fucking shit up. Well, you would probably have a very good <laughs> tactical reason for doing that um, that the others might not understand. Hopefully okay, you're not just so do that, it because you enjoy big bang bangs. Yeah, but that makes that makes that makes the point of a democracy all all the better. All all the so we each have. Have, have, you, guys seen, have you guys seen the movie Atlantis? I don't care about which, movies. Which Atlantis? <laughs> the, the Disney. The Disney. Shift with the Atlantis. We don't care. Look, we all have specific roles to play. You do have. Okay, roles. you can be captain. Yes, you can be captain. It's actually the pilot who lays down the law. The safety of the ship. That's his responsibility. The only reason I'm asking if you guys have seen it is because in, like, each of them plays a specific role in what they want to do, yeah. including Bang Bang. Yes. Okay. Because I don't... You faded on a screen. You faded on myself. Well, so, it was I don't. I didn't hear anything. Uh, Sorry. So I know that I'm not always going to make the best decision, right? You don't really want to start that off to incite the other group to get well, encouraging. No, what I think they should always be the first point of contact. Always. Wait, what's that now? Liaison? I think, I think a, a good a good technology that we can uh, give to them is Velcro. Velcro? Ex uh, yeah. Well, good old, yeah, Velcro. No good more. old hook and loop technology. Who doesn't need Velcro? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I hope it sticks us together. Right, yeah, here you go. There's your mission. Find the planet of Velcro, and you've got it made. Perfect. Yeah. Actually, don't laugh, guys, because anything's possible out there. You'll be surprised what you come across. Okay, so you perhaps... Return planet just to sticks to another planet. Yeah. Your individual yeah. corners to consider these conversations about how you want to proceed with um, roles, responsibilities, and whatnot. Okay, um, I'll be right back. Yep. So, uh, as I said, it's going to take a couple of days. Um, they do have some, because they do have space technology, they do have a certain ability to miniaturize food. So you're not getting a whole basket of fresh fruit or anything like that to take with you. Um, the water they can provide, the drinking water they can provide is appropriate. Um, so, and Steve's lost his blood. Hang on a second, I had all that down here, what it contained and everything. Because um, you've got, I think, 10 tons of space um, sphere that you need to consider how you need to fill it up. So, um, I don't know. Uh, life support, just looking for it, sorry. Extra life support. So, in your own technological era, you sorry. buy a ton of life support, and that equals just over. 16 weeks of support yeah, for yeah, one person. Yeah. So That's the team not has, available here. So the Timo has an extra ton of full life support, of life support, that gives 16 weeks, which is two months each. Yeah, so you haven't really, 
Um, if we go one jump, one week in the other system, another jump, this week in this system, you've used four weeks of life support. Your ship carries four weeks, and then you have to dive into your extra. So what yep. you want to do is, I would say probably, you're looking at two ton, and that'll be enough preserved or vegetable stuff, and water, and air you can compress and all that sort of stuff. That will last you for another four weeks. So you still have I'm to sorry. Do your extra life support. Have, have we already left? No, not yet. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we are we are planning on refilling on life support here, though. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 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 So you Great. could okay. you could refill the month that you've used here. So your ship can carry a month's worth of life support. You then have another yeah. ton gotcha. of extra life support waiting. It's your own stuff, so you want to leave that to last. Yeah, and that, that'll last for a couple of years, that life support in there. It's all prepackaged and all that sort of stuff. So it's sort Ray, of your emergency Ray, life support. Ray, is you're keeping track of the life support, right? Who? Well, I am the captain of the Ray, ship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, okay. you need to take two of your 10 ton out, and that'll be, that will be the life support they can provide you for another month. Okay, how about the um, our raw mater material for right. 3D printing or okay. manufacturing? Now, this is interesting. Their planet is missing several elements. Cunt. Yeah. So you don't get the versatile raw material that you're used to. Um, so they can provide you with some stuff. They're quite happy to provide without actually... Um, so you can for it at the moment, yeah. So you can take another two ton out of your cargo space, and you've got semi raw material that hopefully Garth can use to print whatever you need. There are. Is some, there any? And I'll, I'll tell you later on when I worked it out what elements are missing. So there's some things that you just won't be able to produce because the element isn't present. Anything on, on this planet we gain from asteroids or asteroid belts well, in if the... you've got prospecting, you can go do it that way, otherwise it's trade. Fuck prospecting uh, is a skill? Yep. Fuck. Yep, it comes What's under that? I think science. What's oh, prospecting? I need to look at the book. Comes under science like mining or something. I think it comes under science, prospecting. Um, okay. no, well we could always roll for it and subtract the three, right? Could just yeah, I could just give it a go. Yeah, I've got job it too. Okay, let's just go <laughs> pan some fucking pan some pan some gold out in the out in the asteroid. Yeah. Now, this, this is this is the thing I wanted to tell you. Like in Traveller, see this engine. There's there's a formula to be successful or try to be successful with any skill attempt. You need a skill, some sort of skill that can help you. You need a certain amount of time, and you need a certain prerequisite of equipment or items. Right. If so, but the longer those, the time, it becomes harder. But the longer the time, the easier it becomes to roll for the it. The longer correct? the time you spend, the more likely it is that you will get a successful result because you get yeah, more yeah. chances Easy. to roll. But okay. the less time, the high, especially if it's a time sensitive thing, the difficulty is higher because you're pushed. There's a certain baseline, yeah. and if you go less than that, it becomes harder because you've got less time. All right, guys, so what else can we kind of maybe get from this planet before we... You've got life support. You've got two ton of semi raw material. Um, Do they have gold? What about gold? How's they their... How's all their... Place. They, they, it's all they, over the place. Is that like a, a very valuable material to them? Mm, not, it, it's valued for its beauty... Um, they know it. Ha it's a really good conductor of electricity, so it's in a lot of the equipment. But they have a lot of gold on this planet. I go ahead and I ask for some, as much as they might spare, right? Because it's valuable to us, isn't it? Yeah. Um, they say it is. It is valuable, but not in a mercantile sense to them, because it is yes. part of their one of their core aesthetic belief things. So um, they are not likely to separate with that. They're more likely to separate them, with I silver. I tell them, I tell them that we use gold to conduct con to uh, conduct symphon symphonies in electricity, and it's it's a, <laughs> it's a it's a magnificent art form, and we would be very much appreciative of anything they can they can spare. <laughs> 
then they'll probably give you um, a kilo of it. Oh, perfect. I love it. <laughs> All right. A kilo is not, not – um, you can't make a huge amount of money on it. Um, can, we, can we use silver in the printer? Does it does that is that a valuable element? Silver, um, material? Silver, but they can provide you with a ton of silver. They're not worried about giving you a ton of silver, and then you can start using it as your mercantile bartering when you get to a system that would barter for the silver. So okay. how much how, how much capacity do we actually have at the moment? Well, do we know that? You've um, lost two ton for the life support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so but we're getting all that back, right? All what back? The life support. You're getting four months, we... four weeks back for two times. Oh, okay. Months. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you've got that. Um, so that takes you down to eight. You've got another two ton because one ton wouldn't give you what you needed. You needed two ton to be able to print the wall stuff. So that takes you down to six, and they'll give you a ton of silver. That pain is Easy. five tons left in your cargo bay. Don't Take forget my two and a half pounds of gold. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, hold on, wait a second. Can we actually carry more life support if we fill up our cargo yeah. with it? Yeah. Why don't we do that? Let's do that. Okay, you're gonna have to use it in two ton bot lots. Well, I mean, sh- uh, uh, two tons gives us four weeks, right? So yeah. let's just do it. Let's let's get another ton yeah. or two or, or two. Be looking there. Are you thinking that for the next eight weeks we won't get onto another planet with life support? Well, I'm thinking better safe than sorry, yeah. If we have another planet with life support... What else are we actually going to put on the the ship? We're not actually paying for this life support, so why not take it here? I mean, it's the best gas press you're going to find in the galaxy. (laughs) Captain Reyes, what do you think? Uh, it's raise. Thank you. Raise. <laughs> um, good gas prices. Let's let's fill up. Let's fill up the tank. Come on. I I just don't want to like. We can dump it out if we need to make room. Honestly, we can no, just dump yeah, it out. Yeah, of the no, I, no, I just don't want to take because they're quite giving. Of, like everything, everything has happened because they're willing to give it to us, not because we yeah. offered anything in advance. But My they fear, have. They have a whole planet worth of resources, and this is the first alien contact they've ever had, right? So they, I think they're more than willing to fill up our small cargo bay. It's only like, what, three tons? Three tons, which on a planet very scary is very, very small. So yeah, it's I, not a, take it. I don't think it's a big loss. I, I Exactly. I reckon we take it as well. Okay, but if we take the extra, if we take the extra two tons... I think we should offer something in something in They don't want well. anything. They don't okay. like they don't they don't value okay. material. Yep. Well stuff. so you're giving them all your cultural stuff along with your yes. you know, that's part of your life. Oh music. You had the music. Didn't you find music that they liked? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Give them the CDs. Or not CDs, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like <laughs> send them the tracks. Okay. I send them a Spotify playlist. Okay. Of there you go. The, the, send them a playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry. So you so have. I just want to. I just want to explain quickly why. It's, because I don't feel good taking things without, like, giving something back. That's all. Don't worry. We're giving them something back. We're giving them music. Really? We're yeah. So now. Dog. Yeah. That's all cool. So in your cargo hold, you now have four ton of life support, which lasts you eight weeks. Plus your awesome. extra ton from home, which gives you 16 weeks. Um, this is all for one, like, you know. Um, so the, the two ton is for all four of you. The 16 ton is for, like, one of you. So that would be split four ways, so that gives you four weeks each. So it's just more compact in from home. So that's four ton of life support. Um... Two ton of raw materials at six, so that takes you down to four. And one ton of silver takes you down to three. So you still have three ton of, and you don't have to fill it out straight away. Um, so you've got a ton of silver to try to use for speculative trade later on. You've got eight weeks of life support for everybody on board ship. Um, yep. And the raw material, sorry, what do we use that for again? Anything that breaks down. 
But Building there are stuff. some things that Garth is not going to be able to print because he just isn't the element isn't present in the raw material. Uh, okay. Limitations yeah. about. Yeah. So um, anyway, um, I go ahead and I we're we're on we're kind of on the way to leaving, right? We're sort of on a launch pad, kind of so to speak. Um, yeah. Oh shit! I. I Ask the um. I ask the uh, um. If if he, uh, it's still possible for me to talk to him. Um. The the leader of their people. If there's any message he would like us to carry, you know, with us while we kind of explore further into the galaxy. If he would like us to kind of you know promote his planet, you know, and okay, let them know yeah. they're here. Yeah. Or if he would like to, or if he would like us to be quiet about it, be silent about it. Basically, he's willing for you to take a message of peace and cooperation back to your people. Um, mm -hmm. He would like you not to... He doesn't know what is in your future, so he doesn't know what to encounter. So it may be more wise not to mention his planet. And to, if you have some way to ensure that the information they've given you cannot be shared with anybody else, you might access the systems. Okay, I'll assure him we'll do yeah. so. We'll make sure that. But he says he does want to send a message to your people to yes. um, you know, welcome and, and, and your hopes of good relationships and prosperous Okay. Well, I'll make sure he knows that I look forward to seeing him on our way back. Yeah. And hopefully he has a decision, you know, for us mm -hmm. by the time we meet him again. Yeah. Okay. All right. So are, 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 is everybody ready to go? Let's go. Yeah. Um, is there like a goodbye ceremony? Um, they do meet, uh, Pon is there, um, and they ask, would you be able to take Pon and if you have space to take, um, resources up to the station with you? Yes. Um, how much, we have three tons, right? Yep. So yeah. That, that's cool. They'll fill that up quite yep. easy and yep. will be in there. Yeah. Let's yep. do it. Okay. They thank you. Um, so, I, okay. Yep. I, like I guess, well, hold on, but we have to ask the captain first. Sorry. Yep. Is there a, a formal greeting for goodbye? The, the, no, because they don't believe in goodbyes. They'll just say, when we see you next. So I, I just do like a big thank you guys as yep. we leave. Okay, that's a call. So yeah, so you, that's another piece of information for the sociologist there. They don't have a formal goodbye because they don't believe it. That, that, oh. When we see you next. Okay. So, so I... All right, so I do like a quick. I offer a handshake and yeah. tell them that, and I'll plan it. This is how we Secret say it. Handshake. see you again. Yeah. So he like, tries to do a really weird handshake with you. Okay, I'll take that. Um. So you you sort of cl sort of clumsily because you're not expecting it. Follow it, and he says pickle oh, the middle this, middle of your hand. Yeah. This is <laughs> this is this the handshake I was showing. Which means we are invested in a in a relationship that would be beneficial to both races. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just trying to find all the dialogues you've got to make. So the first one you've got to make, um, again, you get a plus two to pilot out of the atmosphere. Okay, as we're piloting out of the atmosphere, I make sure I go ahead and take that... Um... Um, xenophobic pornography film, and I toss it out the fucking airlock, you know, so they can <laughs> kind of experience the full, <laughs> the, the full, uh, you know, yeah. uh, <laughs> knowledge yeah. of the universe. And, <laughs> wouldn't you know what? The next race, that's how they say hello. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first thing first, if I can get a parting roll, please raise. Um, with a so plus quickly. two. Quickly, I thank Pon for all yep. their help. Yeah, and well, I thank them. Atmosphere yet, maybe you're, you're, you're still flying. Okay. Um, plus two. Plus two plus your skill. Two's for the atmosphere. Nine. Nicely. Yep. Okay, you're up there, and you're saying goodbye to Pon. Wave goodbye. Thank you for all your help. Well, um, Pon says thank you very much for the experience, and they wish you well on your travels. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on the other side of the fucking ship, someone throws crab porn. Yeah, out the crab window. porn out the window. Um, anyway. And I said to myself, what am I supposed to watch now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully they've got some sort of porn uh, in their database. Um, but um, Pon says, um, they could be on the trip with you, but their duty is to 
their own um, celestial endeavors and uh, as you well. We look forward to bringing them information when we come back. So, onward. Okay. So, you start to proceed out to the jump point, which is 100 diameters of the planet out. Um, I'm just going to survey behind us, just just if there's anything following us or anything. Well, as we, you, yes, you're, actually, you're as we, as, because the pilots, already. the pilots looking forward. Okay. So I'm just I'm just looking generally in our rear direction because the pilot's looking forward. The pilot's gonna let me know something. Sorry, I, won't, I make I, a I make a scan. I computer scan. Ooh, a twelve. Thank I make you. a scan for a scan. Um, anything in space around us. Cool. So, Any... um, excuse me. Remington gives you an all clear for you to proceed towards the jump point. Um, okay. The piloting is already done. I need you now, please, raise to give me a piloting roll to do your jump plot. So that's a piloting roll, and it would be education if you have a bonus in education. Nope. Okay. 13. Perfect. Okay, Good you've stuff. got your jump plot. So you, just, just in case you were wondering where you're heading, hang on. This is the two point. jumps away. That's the next closest jump. Okay. So even though okay. it's two jumps away, it still only takes you one week in jump space should you get here. So we've got to do a few rolls here. Yeah. I'm going okay. back up my no, no. Moving. Okay. Yeah. Moving out to the jump point. There are no encounters. Um, Remington has made sure you've got a, a, a seamless um, route to move through. No encounters with micrometeorites or anything nasty like that. There obviously are no other ships in the system, so there's no need to roll for those. Um, no. You get to, you make your calculation to do the jump. You get to the jump point. This is where Garth, you need to make an engineering roll to make sure that you can engage your engines to get into a jump drive, and then um, it's back to the pilot to make a 2d6 roll to see if you've misjumped or anything. If you okay, roll double look, ones on this excess, um, bad things can happen. So it's low numbers, um, but where you go. Oh, beautiful. Okay, nice. uh, Garth's got the, and it's a double four. Those are, four, those are, those are doubles, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. We remember when you do the excess, um, just put a note to yourself, that's a plus a point one on engineering. When it gets to a point nine, the next time you get to roll and see if that goes up a whole level or not, where you lose it because it just wasn't enough experience. Is um, it uh? What is the uh, what is the threshold for that roll again? When I, when you get to a full number, so we when you put uh, number oh, yeah, in, yeah, you get oh, I understand. But the roll, yeah, but the roll value, the oh, the value you need to roll. Eight on the two eight. Six. Yeah, eight. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Stand, standard sort of average number. Okay, okay. So Garth has engaged the engines, and now we go back. This is not a. Edu um, experiential role here. It's just a do we blow up? Do we jump badly? Yep. Um, just give me a second here. 13. Uh, no, that's actually really good. If that had been Traveller, you uh, would have misjumped. On a 13? Yeah, because it's reversed. What? On a tra and Traveller, it's the high around. is bad. And Cepheus, low is bad. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Um, um, and with your, with your ship that has enhanced jump, um, remember that you jump a great distance. You can miss jump horribly. You are now entered into jump space. You are safe for a week. Um, I'm just going to take down what you do, and then we'll finish the game. So, Ray's, what are you doing for the week? Um, I think we should call the group together and discuss what each person gets like. Okay, I'm the part of the ship that's cool, but each person. Oh goddamn it! Are we gonna fucking try to? Are we do? Are we doing have another stroke? The captain's ego meeting. Come on. Okay then. What are we doing? So I believe that each person should get a final say in certain things. Mm -hmm. Like first contact is obviously not my forte. Yeah. But I might want to be. I might be like, oh, okay, this looks great. We should do it. But. There should be a person who's like, no, I don't think it should be should because of X, Y, and Z. Okay. So you. I think we should yeah. leave things to votes though, because we should okay, all work set. together. 
Yes, I, I agree. So, so we, we have we people be... who are very skilled in certain certain aspects, yeah. and they should be they should be the ones that decide, I guess, Correct. with the role. However, but they should be giving have... advice, not making the dictatorship decision. No, exactly. Yes. So what you're so saying is there's not... you need to take account of what the expert says before you make your decision as a group. Exactly. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Well, so that's all cool. That, that's all sweet. Is so Reming, right? sorry, was it Remington who is the good person for liaison? Uh, first contact and yeah. mercantile dealing. Yep. Yeah. He's got the skills in that. Yeah. So I think when it comes to merchant stuff and always first contact, yep. Remington should always be the first person. Yeah, because I'm. Scared. However, however, if anybody has any ideas, whenever we're meeting people, I'm always, I'm always down to you know listen yeah. to that. Just, just remember guys, not, how you just did because the I have the group. skill. Yes, yeah. just because I have the skill, you know, to to on the die doesn't mean anybody else has. Obviously, obviously, we're all open to ideas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Just so how you we're not handled this first contact. It went well because you all cooperated. Exactly. Yeah. So we're not we're not we're not we're not basing everything just because you know um, Ray's is the captain or um, whoever else is whatever else. I don't, honestly, I'm sorry, the names are just like fucking beyond me. But um, so, we work. But 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 it's it's been working well because yeah, like um, everybody who has this particular skill, they roll the dice. But everybody has a say in what the decision is. Right. Okay. Except, for, except for when you know some errant asshole is throwing porn out the window, you know, of a escaping <laughs> ship. So, oh, shit. Yeah. okay. So, okay. Um, apart from that, um, what is else is Ray's doing with anything he's gained out of this last encounter? I'm gonna go over the library of knowledge that we've just received and try and <sighs> maybe understand it. Okay, right. So, you de- which part of the area are you looking at specifically? Because there's a lot to look at with one hit. Uh, body interactions based on yeah. I'll just say body interact like um. Okay, understanding social interactions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, cool. Um, Remington, what are you up to? I want to go ahead and roll. I think computers for to um kind of further dissect the uh like the goings on of the uh the rift kind of between the the oh, veil yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll translate to, uh yeah. veil yeah. yes more investigation uh, in the senses uh, the sense of yeah. yes okay um jack cool. yeah jack what are you doing i'm working on my robot so i've got a robot with the frame wheels and moving ahead, nice. and I believe it can navigate itself around oh, the yeah. ship at the moment. It, it's a radio controlled at the moment. It doesn't have. It's radio controlled. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to work on. I'm going to work on sensory design and it's um, got eyes, cameras. Yeah. You've already got that on it. Um, and so, you're operating it from your internal Omnicom. So. Oh, that's not that bad. You know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna start designing uh, the. Bomb. Sorry. I'm just saying a bomb, maybe. No, no. Nah, nah. I'm gonna I'm gonna design um, uh, weaponry. Try so like a bomb. Like how how I'm gonna mount um, a a small bomb. Um, <laughs> taser okay. and the shotgun on it. Okay. Right. That's what you're doing first. Could you 3D print a, an Omnicom? Is it no. possible? Uh, but you just buy one. Because they don't, you can't. There's no way to buy one. That's all back in your own subsector. It doesn't have the required, oh. um, one of the required elements. I'll, I'll work out what they are so I can give you them next time. But... I was just asking because, like, say for comms, like plants. Like, oh, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, so actually, yeah. yeah. So that, you, that, that's given me an idea. Okay, so oh, moment, actually. You can't mass produce any sort of electronics because the required elements are not present. Unless what about, you're willing to use all that gold. What about you... explosives? Pardon? Can we per, uh, produce explosives? Only if you know and to do that, you need to have demolition skill. 
I do. I th oh, hold on. I think I have demolitions. Yes, you I do. I, I have I have demolition skills. So could you we could look into that, see what's in the raw materials, and see if there's anything useful? If that's yeah. the second thing you want to do. I'd no, like to go no, ahead and um, confer yeah. confer the council. Um, let's go ahead and uh, have a meeting, everybody. I say, um, guys, so we got lucky on the first contact. Peaceful people. But next time, might not be so much. I'd like to possibly have a um, worst-case scenario plan in place. Should I make that, a bomb? Yeah, that, that's called Jack. Jack on a gun on the turrets. Yeah. Jack, Jack, Jack given access <laughs> he, he to any of his weapons... That's Jack, that's Jack, Jack would be much more, you know, effective if he had a bomb to help him out. I think, guys. So, so, so I'm thinking yeah. maybe let's make some bombs or grenades. You know, I got plenty. What, do you, what do you guys think? I don't. I don't have any. Wait, hold. You have. Grenades, I mean, right? yeah, like yeah, I don't see why grenades. not. Yeah. There's no reason yeah. that we can't. Okay, so up. then I would like to. I would like to use my demolition skill to produce. Some okay. some grenades so that we gonna, might yeah. be able to. Switch. So that's going to require using the printer. That's require going through Garth because that's his area. Um, Garth. Obviously, the captain has um, given you permission to produce them, but it's going to require some rolls first to, to create them and create them safely, which is going to take you more than one jump. But you started the process. Okay. So um, I'll give you some more information next time about the. Um, Void. Um, moving up to Jack, I know what you're doing. Garth, are you doing anything outside of maintaining the ship? Have you got any interest or anything you want to do? I maintain the ship, but if I can uh, improve electronics in pointing on sensors, I think uh, that's helped to us. Okay, so you're looking at trying to improve sensors, either range or sensitivity or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Garth, can you give me an electronics roll? And this one would be either intelligence or education as the bonus stat. Uh, better intelligence. Okay, then if it's got a, if you've got a bonus on that, you can include that with your electronics skill. Okay. Whoa. Uh, that is good. Nice. Yeah. Yes, that's good. Oh yeah. Okay, so you've come up with an idea. Um, looking through the raw material, you don't have the correct elements. You're going to want to get some specific elements at the next planet so that you can start printing and building these advancements to the sensors. Okay. okay. So just note that somewhere so you know that's what your ongoing mission is. What's um, his name? Garth, the engineer. Garth. Yeah. So Garth is impro improving the sensors, and I'll work out exactly what it is, whether it's range of sensitivity or something else. You Could we improve our surveyors? Pardon? Could we improve our surveyors? No, the drones are made, that's it. Um, but he, he's talking about the ship sensors, which is his sort of um, forte. Anything to do with the ship, Garth can pretty much manufacture. Um, yeah, yeah. Given enough time and equipment, Garth could rebuild a jump engine. I asked what Garth, the... hey Garth, you know that crab video? Uh, <laughs> no, you... you can't produce those. <laughs> uh, yeah. Could we maybe act it out? <laughs> okay. Give me a time. Give me time. Strong, Alrighty, strong okay. decline. We're... Okay, so everyone's got a little mission while they're in jump. Um, we will finish. Do I need to roll anything for mine? Um, you are making what? Oh, taste. I'm going to. Give me... Well, I'm going to make anything... That, I just want something that can hold weapons. So yeah. can I hold any gun gonna, that I gave it, give to it, basically. A remote electronic switch that can activate a taser. Basically nailing or or, gluing or a taser or a gun. onto one of these or, things. Guns are much gun. more difficult than tasers. Tasers are just a box that shoot oh. out the two needles. Okay, okay. Uh, Hold on. I think, I think tasers could be good for us. Hmm. Like, if oh, you could okay. produce tasers yeah. so that yeah. each right, of us right, can right. have one. The next thing be awesome. for Jack oh. is, do you have any tasers? Did you buy any? Yeah, I got a stunner. Okay, that's your personal stunner, which isn't a taser. A taser is, is that much okay, low same level. Thing. Your, your stunner is much higher. It's much more, um, it's a much better oh, version than a taser. Damn. So you're building, no, a, you're building a lower, vest, lower thing 
So again, could he so make like an like a version that we might buy from like Coin Save or like the cheap dollar store that works like? Yeah, let's get a generic. Let's let's, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a job for so, an engineer, not for me though. You, that's where you're going to have to talk to Garth. But Garth is busy, so you've got to remember everyone's got their own missions or things they want to do, but you're going to have to work out somehow how to cooperate to get these things done. Otherwise, some things are going to get done and other things are going to get left. So, first my mission in life is to make this yeah, robot guy. Is to give me an electronics <laughs> role to create this. Yeah, to activate a taser. I gotta, I gotta okay. say, a taser, a taser is an easy thing to make. You know, on like Earth's technological level, you know, he's yeah. gotta, he's gotta have a low roll. Yeah. So, um, electronics. What, 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 do I add anything to that, or um, is it just probably your education? If you've got a high education, because it would no, be not, not high stuff. enough. Okay, so straight roll. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you you've got your taser switch. that will fucking yeah. destroy a dragon. So <laughs> what, you, what you've managed to do is you've built a switch. It's a four-way switch, so you could actually have a taser pointing in each cardinal direction on board. Oh board. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mahi, that. Good yeah. shit. So you just need to now go get it printed by Garth. And he can do yep. that while he's still working out his sensor stuff. Um, and then you've just got to design which will be next and build the four tasers. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you have got the switches, Garth's got to print them for you, you can mount them on your little thing, then you just gotta build the tasers. Dra um Rays, I need you and um if you can give me a role versus your science skill, please, to Find out more about the social interactions. Um, Remington, um, what are you doing? I got a twelve. Grenades. You were looking. Okay, radio. Yeah. And um, Garth was trying to and coming with really good effect, improving the sensors on board the ship. Um, so, but still in the design phase. Um, so, what I need from Remington is yes. a gunnery role to design oh, the uh, not gunnery sorry the demo role to design yes. the grenades do so i add intelligence or education uh, probably education this is you're building on you're not trying to innovate you're trying to just build something yes that's going to be a straight roll fucking 10. okay you've got a relatively right. safe version of a small hand grenade now awesome. you just got to make sure you can get the raw materials, get them printed, and store them somewhere safely. Garth can't do any more at the moment, but you so have the week well. You've got the plan. Now you just need to get the raw materials, get it printed, and you're away to go. Okay, so I have the schematic for hand grenades. Hand okay. Grenades. Yep. Yep. Um, awesome. Now, if you wanted to try to do that with TDX, that's more of a chemical role. Um, but you know about TDX, don't you? Uh, in fact, no, I don't. I'm not a... TDX is an explosive. You'll know as a demolitioner. TDX is an explosive that always blows up a perpendicular to the gravity. So it blows up on a thin... It slices things. So it's like a bouncing Betty, almost. Except for not the whole, like, buried mine, you know, step yeah. on that bullet. So it's like you open up, like, you explode, and it's like the circular that's nice. saw that's just in an area. That's <laughs> I sort of like that. Hold on. So, and that takes a what kind of role? A uh, chemical? A science role. It would be a science role. You need to see if you can. Because um, you'll probably. Yeah. Does anybody, anybody on the ship have science? Ray's does. But he has it at level zero. I don't, you don't have chemistry at a level, do you? No, I only have psychology okay. at one. Right, yeah. So, so yeah, Ray's, minus one. you'll get some information. <laughs> um, the information you get. Um, will enable uh, you to get a plus one on any interaction with the Zanzars. X A N X A R. That's the operation name. Wait, wait. Is that is it the people we just? Yes, the people you just left. You just you, you're just studying them. You get to understand it a bit better. You get this. This is what you discovered. Whether you pass it on to other people or not is entirely up to you. Right. Okay. So it's information that can be passed on or not. It's up to you. Okay, guys, that's where we will leave it for now. We're just going to have to recording.